The women's college basketball season is officially underway with the first of many games occurring the other day. The most notable game of them all to date has to be the matchup between NC State and South Carolina, two top five ranked teams meeting in the first game of the season. The match did not disappoint with South Carolina slugging out a 9 point victory off the back of a 17 point performance from Zaya Cook. As a team that's ranked number one, it was a good victory and certainly raises some thoughts about the potential of this side. So I wanted to look at that today. In today's video, I'll be looking at the Gamecocks roster, how they stack up to the other top teams, things I liked from their opening matchup against NC State, and overall, whether they should be considered the initial championship favorites like the preseason rankings suggest. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a like, it helps out the channel a ton, and also be sure to subscribe for more women's basketball content like this. I'm trying to grow a community of women's basketball fans here on YouTube, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Let's try reach 200 subscribers by December. Anyway, with that all being said, let's talk about South Carolina. Firstly, let's discuss the opening game for South Carolina against NC State. Two top five squads going at it is always going to be entertaining and a close battle, and that's exactly what this game delivered. South Carolina and NC State were pretty evenly matched throughout the first half, and though South Carolina were torching the Nets, shooting 52% in the first two quarters, their high number of turnovers allowed NC State to stay in the contest. The turnovers, to be fair, are to be expected early on, as this group is relatively new, but I'll get into the roster depth a little bit later. South Carolina were able to pull away in the second half with a late surge, led by Zaya Cook, Henderson, and Aaliyah Boston, who combined for 18 of South Carolina's 19 fourth quarter points. Overall, though a bit shaky at some points, the Gamecocks looked strong out there and never really were in doubt for the win, which was impressive to see against another top five squad. One major reason for their projected success and win the other night is because of their insane depth. So let's take a deep dive into this roster and discuss the key elements that make this team so good, because South Carolina is arguably the deepest team in the NCAA right now. Zaya Cook is the star of South Carolina and is now in his junior year with the team. Against NC State, Cook controlled the offense, dropping 17 points on solid shooting from the floor as the Gamecocks gained control in the second half. Cook is a cold-blooded high-volume scorer and shows practically no weakness when the ball is in her hands, taking advantage of all opportunities. Throughout her college career, her shot selection has become a lot better, with her efficiency skyrocketing each season. Just last season, she shot nearly 40% from three, which is phenomenal. Her scoring has also become a lot more consistent as well, hence why she's now the number one option on South Carolina with the offense being run through her. If South Carolina are to have any success this season, it'll be off the back of performances from players like Zaya Cook. Her talents border on being superstar-like. For that reason, she'll be a key piece to South Carolina's chances of bringing home a national championship. Another key piece of South Carolina is Aaliyah Boston, who is arguably the best big in the NCAAW currently. Her presence alone makes such a big impact for the Gamecock as she draws doubles often inside the paint, allowing for kickouts to open shooters. Inside the paint on both ends of the floor, Boston is dominant, shooting over 50% from inside the arc last season, her sophomore season. She also averaged 2.6 blocks per game, which is ridiculous stuff, and she's continuing that rim protection dominance to begin this season, with 5 blocks against NC State deterring any drive attempt from them that came her way. She's also been dominant on the boards, and though she didn't grab too many rebounds against NC State, we should expect it to pick up, as averaging almost 12 rebounds per game last season through 31 games isn't just a fluke. Boston will continue to be the mismatch player for South Carolina this season, and will without a doubt give them a big advantage come March. Destiny Henderson is another player on South Carolina who's been exceptional offensively for them. 
Now in her senior season, she's stepping into a consistent secondary role in the backcourt behind Zaya, scoring 14 points in the opening game. With Boston and Cook, Henderson stepped up in the second half to put away NC State and had a very efficient night. As a player who hasn't been overly efficient in her college career, aside from last season where she knocked down over 40% of her three-point attempts, this will hopefully give her confidence for a big year as South Carolina aim to make a title run. However, there's a lot more to this SC roster than just those three, with this being arguably the deepest team in college basketball outside of maybe UConn. South Carolina have some brilliant role players, like Bria Hall, who allow for the squad to maintain a high quality of play throughout the full 40 minutes, even if players like Zaya or Boston take a rest. The South Carolina incoming freshman class is ridiculous too, and sets them up for long-term success, featuring the number two ranked Raven Johnson for the high school class of 2021, the number three ranked Senia Rivers, number four ranked Senia Fagan, and number 14 ranked or Brianna Hall. This depth is going to make the South Carolina team very hard to beat. They just have so many options to run the offense through, so that versatility, plain and simple, is going to be deadly. I mean, they are ranked first in the preseason rankings for a reason. Finally, one of the biggest reasons why South Carolina should be very good this season is because of their coach, Dawn Staley. She's one of the best female basketball coaches ever, so to have her around is obviously going to do major positive things. With her experience and stature, South Carolina are in good hands, and having Staley around will give SC an advantage in those intense chess match type battles with other top teams. So, with that being said, should South Carolina be considered title favorites? Though it's very early on in the season and would obviously be a bold call to proclaim them as the top team right now, I definitely think we should consider South Carolina as one of the top threats for the national championship. This team is deep, has one of the best offensive systems, and have already beaten a top 5 school on a night that I personally would consider below par for them. Aside from Cook and Henderson, a lot of players struggled on opening night. Like Boston didn't get too many favorable looks as she normally would, for an example. For them to pull away in the second half, even with many things going wrong, like their high number of turnovers, shows the toughness of this team and its legitimacy to go far. Again, it's very early, so we'll have to wait and see how things play out. But with Zaya Cook continuing her star form, Henderson and Boston ready to bring the firepower again, and with probably the most stacked bench in the NCAAW, South Carolina looks like serious threats for the national championship right now, and I wouldn't blame you at all if you called them the clear favorites at this point. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? How good is South Carolina to you? Can they win it all this season? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.